This is how guys say they like you without actually saying, I like you. Hi, hello, it's Anne. Guys, let me know if I'm wrong. Ladies, pay attention. Let's go. One, it's when they tell you how amazing you are and how any guy would be so lucky to have you. It's them. They want to be that guy. Two, it's when they tell you that you guys should hang out more. But this is very specific. It's actually planning to do things together. Like, oh, there's a new movie out. We should see that movie together. And three, it's when you like another guy, but then he constantly tells you how much he doesn't think this guy is right for you. But it's not just this guy. It's literally been every guy you've ever liked. He doesn't like them. Guys, let me know. When I was four, I learned that love was my mother wrapping my scrapes with bandages and sealing them with a kiss accompanied by a be careful next time. When I was 10, I learned that love was liking the boy across the street and telling him I liked his sweater, hoping he would tell me he liked mine. When I was 13, I learned that love was chasing after a person who didn't even know I existed. And when I was 16, I learned that love was betraying yourself and sacrificing your well-being for someone else. When I was 21, I learned that love was as momentary as the sunset we sat watching together on top of the hood of your roof. Love gets worse with age and love loses its innocence. It's realizing the more you love, the more you hurt. But one day, one day I will find someone that accepts my scars, likes my sweater, knows I exist before I even introduce myself, will easily accept my flaws, and will love me even after the sun has set. Love gets worse with age, and love loses its innocence. But he will make it all worth it and make me feel like a kid all over again. Things guys hate about texting. Hi, hello, it's Anne. Guys, let me know if I'm wrong. Ladies, pay attention. Let's go. One, it's when you text them, guess what? And then they actually expect you to guess. No, just, just tell them. Just tell them what you need to tell them. Two, it's the, we need to talk, or I need to tell you something. Anxiety, peaked. And three, it's the passive aggressive, like you're mad at him, so you're just gonna send him one-worded text messages. Guys, let me know. Guys, this is how you know she likes you using the hoodie method. Hi, hello, it's Anne. Ladies, let me know. Guys, pay attention. Let's go. One, if you offer her your hoodie and she says no, she's not that interested. But if she does say yes, she could be interested. So then we carry on to number two. If she gives back your hoodie at the end of the night, it just shows that she appreciated your gesture and she's most likely thinking of you as a friend. But if she takes it home with her, she might like you. But carry on to number three. If she takes your hoodie home, washes it, and then gives it back to you the next time she sees you, it's literally just she's a nice person and she appreciated your gesture, and so not all that interested. She's a good person though. But if she takes your hoodie and wears it constantly, like when she goes to bed or when she goes to the store, and even jokes around about how you're never gonna get your hoodie back, she likes you. <laughs> Things guys say when they really, really care about you. Hi, hello, it's Anne. Guys, let me know if I'm wrong. Ladies, pay attention. Let's go. One, they ask if you've eaten today. And chances are, if you haven't and you tell him that, he's going to get really upset. And then he's gonna offer to go get food with you. Or he's gonna at least tell you that you should eat something. Two, I find this one really sweet, but it's when you message him good morning and he asks you how you slept. And three, it's when your energy is off and he can tell, so he asks if you're okay and you tell him that you're completely fine, but then he just hits you with the, are you sure? Because you can talk to me. Not him forcing you to open up, but just him realizing that something is off and reminding and reassuring you that if there is something on your mind, he's willing to listen. Guys, let me know.